Hey community, this is sponsored video by the Speed of Light and I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we are going to see how the web notification module is working and in case you missed previous discussions about how the India Mart Trade India integration is working and how the Paystech payment acquirer is also working with the Odoo, especially in the e-commerce and please check link is given in the description and let's back to our another video how the web notification is working so let's say once you install this module this dynamic notification for internal users right so here you will get like a two type of notifications the first one is the temporary notification and another is the horizontal notification so how it is working let's see this feature so for that like i already installed this module and uh, here you can see like once you have the access rights for this web notification then you can see this menu it is working with the enterprise as well as the community version so right now i'm using the community version so here let's say let's say i will try to add here one pop-up notification to the specific user so for that like let's say here i'm trying to add here the subject name let's say urgent let's go out for t right and here let's say there is a one configuration is there all or among so here like let's say i will try to notify to the specific people right the myself then after one is the joel and another is the mark them all right all these three users will notify or oh, let's say only the demo and admin user right and here there is a two things is that the red notification you want to display or the yellow right and here there is a temporary notification you want to display or the permanent right so let's say check about the temporary at the moment and the red color save and after that like let's say there is a three stages is there the draft in the draft you cannot do anything like let's say i just created and i want to use this notification in the future so i'm trying to add here like this then after let's say in progress right so i'm, I'm just trying to just select from the directly the stat and you can see here submit button is available right i already opened the new profile here in the new screen so let me update like this where the minimize right so let's say this is the admin user this is my another screen which is mark demo and this is the third one which is for the joy right so let me submit here you can see urgent let's go out for the t and this is the temporary one right so what about the permanent so permanent once you click here and click to submit right now this pop-up screen will not automatically close until unless i will close this button or refresh the screen but let's say if i will switch to the contact screen and open any of the i'm doing something else right it won't be closed automatically all right until unless i will close or i will refresh the screen so let's say I just finish this one I don't want to do further so I will update as a finish stage and then after this functionality is not working let's say I want to again uh, do some stuff right I want to send the ma message so I, again I will try to do like in the in progress and right now I will add this joy also right and once you click you can see here the different people receive the same notification so let's say if i will try to add the yellow you can see like this way so name is the subject name and the message here it will display the message here right after that the horizontal notification right so that is also very good one like let's say there is a new breaking news type is here then after let's say i'm trying to add here the specific message 
or let's say all users so i don't we don't need to select any of the users so it will display all the users the background color let's say i want to add the red the font color let's say font color is the white font size let's say i want to display as a 20 like moving text uh, you want to add the animation right the horizontal it will moving the text by default it's yes move like moving text to direction left to right or right to left right so right now it's a left to right and what is the expedition date so basically the default is the one day right and let's say i will try to click to the save right and after it will it won't be displayed directly we have to just refresh the screen you can see here you can see like this way right now let's say i want to change the font color as a 10 sorry the size as a 10 i don't want to move the text right and let's i will save and now you can see like let's i will try to refresh the screen and now you can see here it's display left to right you can see let's say i want to display right to left and refresh the screen you can see it will display like this and for example let's say i don't want to see the notification you can simple close and once you go to here anywhere in this views right it won't be display until unless you will refresh the screen after it will again display another thing is let's say i want to display the move but right to left right and once you save and once you refresh the screen now you can see it will display like this this way so this is the feature here like it will again work in the in progress state for example let's say i want to finish this one right then after like let's say once you refresh the screen it won't be display anymore and for more information you can just visit this web notification module from the odoo app store i already given this link in the description please check that link also all right so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session